Welcome to another edition of the Delaware Valley Original Music Showcase. Tonight we continue our mission of helping to support original music in the Delaware Valley with our three-step process. Listen, experience, and pass on original music. So let's get started. Tonight's band calls Bethlehem home, but their song 309 shows their roots to the Delaware Valley. So let's meet Ginger and the Schnapps here on the Delaware Valley Original Music Showcase.
you get a taste of her music, let's find out more about them in the interview. Joe's been a musician since forever. That's his professional life. I was a doctor for 24 years, and then I finally had a belly full and left medicine, uh, started a second career with my husband in real estate, and then figured, you know, let's, let's try to do some of the things that will bring me a little joy now that I don't have to work 100 hours a day in medicine. So I decided I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sing. I'm, 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 I, was, I sang all through college, I sang all through medical school, I did that just purely for entertainment and stress relief, and now I'm, I'm going to do something with it. So I went online and I saw this name, Joe Mixon. He helps people get started in music. He, can, he even does a little voice training. Like, wait a minute, I know that guy. My daughter used to go to school with his daughter 100 years ago. So we met up and he tuned me back up a little bit. And then he invited me to his jazz jam, which is, Joe will talk about that, it's just amazing. And I met more musicians and I tuned up pretty good. And then we brought together his, the musicians he knew. And with the encouragement of my husband, we, we started a band. Now <laughs> we're a six piece band. <laughs> we got playing together at the um, Artisan um, Wine and Cheese Cellar. That's in Bethlehem here on Lehigh Street and um, bi-monthly um, Wednesday night jazz experience, jazz jam. Um, Mary Ellen was along as many other people got up and sang, shared songs, and out of it grew uh, the band with uh, Vern Obley on drums, Brian Bortz on bass, uh, Patrick Kirsten on keys, and, um, and Dan Twyell on saxophone. And um, we, we performed a couple of gigs together. Everything felt pretty good. And then um, Mary Allen and I had decided to kind of uh, take a stab at doing more original music instead of doing uh, just all covers. Um, we started writing together uh, the oh, middle of probably 2019. Right. Um, she's done Pre-pandemic. It all started pre-pandemic <laughs> in that life. <laughs> Back in the day, um, I was putting together some songs, some original songs uh, for a concert, and she wrote lyrics for me to one of my uh, pieces, and I thought it turned out really good. Uh, she performed it, and we were really happy with it. So we decided to take it further and uh, wrote a dozen, 16 or so songs over the last year or so, and then just in uh, December, we went into the studio with 10 of them for our debut album, Get to Be Entitled. So Joe would write the music, and he said, do you think you could put words to this? And I could. My, my mother's mother was a poet. My mother was a librarian. So words of my major in college was anthropology. I did nothing but write papers all the time. So I was good with words. And if Joe gives me the structure, he gives me the music, and then I'll listen like, oh, that's happy, that's sad, oh, that makes me, that feels like longing. And then I'll, I would put the words to it.
cabaret band. So we uh, do, we're, we're great with swing. We've got a nice full sound, so we're good for swing dancers. We're uh, cabaret in that the, the lyrics and the delivery of the lyrics, it can, it can get that personal cabaret feel. And then these are jazz musicians, so <laughs> the, the chords and the solos are very jazzy. Yeah, I, th I think that, that, that says it really well. Um, the biggest difference between you know, whether we call ourselves uh, uh, a pop group or a jazz group to me comes down to on the pop side, we'd be looking to do the songs relatively identical every time we perform them. Get, um, you know, just like a cover band, we would do our own material, but exactly. Um, being that we're on the jazz side, we leave each show to have creative freedom. Each time you see the band, you're gonna, you know, you can hear our originals, but they might not be exactly the same. They might be slightly slower, different tempos. There might be different solos. And, you know, certainly with the, you know, the music editions doing improvisation, it's much more like a conversation uh, between all of us, and as opposed to just a band backing up a singer. in the band are very experienced musicians they this is not their first rodeo and so um, and in particular Joe Mixon on, on guitar uh, Brian Bors on bass and Vern Mobley on drums they've played together in the past too so they almost they they almost have a sixth sense of what's going on they they read the room beautifully they they a little nod and we know whether we're gonna drag this solo out or whether we're going to chop it short, uh, whether we're going to do more dance tunes or whether we're going to do more listening tunes. Um, it's because these musicians are so experienced and have a history with each other. Uh, I don't, from my point of view, it goes very easily. I, I'm not the one doing that work. <laughs> it's, it's the guys doing that work, but they seem to do it effortlessly. As far as the jazz thing, it's it's um, it, it, it's it's easy to get pigeonholed into being a certain style of music, and then like, hey, if you don't know that one, um, I think we strive to make our music accessible to anybody. Um, if you're like, you know, quote unquote, never heard a jazz group, and you came to hear us, I don't think you'd be put off. Um, we we keep it more, you know, friendly, like you're sitting down with friends, as opposed to hey, like you're going to the concert hall, be quiet, listen, you know, don't interact with us, you know, we're above you. Um, I think Miles Davis said it really well. He called jazz social music. He said, we don't play jazz, we play social music. We play music for people. So to us, that's what that's what our music is. It's music for people.
now it's time for more music from Ginger and the Schnapps here on the Delaware Valley Original Music Showcase. Missing you, nothing to do, I've had a few, now I'm drunk and dreamy, I'd love to rest my head on your shoulder, but instead I'm alone. Oh, my dear, I want you here. My love is clear when I'm drunk and dreamy. Without you by my side, I just get bleary eyed all alone. Singing. 
singing a song, I see a girl wearing my frock. Her look was so fine, much better than mine, and I did a double stop. Her shoes and her hair were beyond compare, next to her I looked like a mop. I started to stare, then changed to a glare, right there in my double stop. I thought I was so put together, float along just like a feather. But her looks a double header, I dare not ask who wore it better. Her bag was divine, her makeup sublime, her silhouette, it was tip top. I sashayed away, what could I say? Caught in a double stop. Double stop. Her shoes and her hair were beyond compare. Next to her, I looked like a mop. I started to stare, then changed to a glare right there in my double stop. I thought I was so put together, float along just like a feather. But her looks a double header. I dare not ask who wore it better. Her bag was divine, her makeup sublime, her silhouette it was tip top. I sashayed away. What could I say? Double stop, caught in a double stop, caught in a double stop, caught in a double stop. 